and today we're going to look at how to take out and replace the thermostat. This is the thermostat in this car and this is supposed to move so when this expand it will go down to let the water in and this is the spring the spring should be below this inside here but when I took it out it's already outside so this all the hooks is not strong enough you say it's uh, trying to come out itself so I'm going to uh, replace but I'm still waiting uh, for the new uh, thermal standard to come but today we just look at how we can take this out and how we can install the things uh, back in to replace a thermal stat the first thing to do is that you're going to drain the coolant from the engine and the radiator so you can see this is the uh, radiator and we have the top hose and then we have the uh, bottom hose the same as this uh, top one so if you have something to squeeze that uh, clip uh, so you can see we have uh, here if you have a plier or anything uh, you squeeze these two together and you can take this hose out so you not moving this one the bottom one you just take the uh, clip out and have something uh, to catch all the coolant uh, at the bottom of the car so this is the bottom hose from the radiator bottom hose from the uh, radiator over there you can see and to here back to engine and the thermos death just leave in here the flange if you can see uh, here is the bottom hose so this is uh, I already uh, take it out this is the a flange fixing the flange there are two screw the bottom and up they just uh, a metal screw for fixing plastic so you can see here that screw I have uh, uh, taken out from the flange that what I have taken out is the valve of this and valve of this so I already described uh, uh, this uh, thermostat inside the flange there's a cross member and there is a small hole in there and this small hole you will put this thermostat pin into that hole okay now you see the thermostat should be put into that small hole like this and you can also see the o-ring seal here just around this so after you have done this you offer this to the inlet on the engine and you have to screw and just screw everything back in